The courtroom today was packed with law enforcement, including Florence County investigator Aria Davis, one of the officers shot on October 3rd. News 13's Aaron Brown spoke with one of Deputy Davis's family members about her recovery and about her feelings about today's hearing. Cheryl Graham investigator Aria Davis's godmother says she's recovering very well and according to her doctors surprisingly well. Now she says she was a little nervous about attending today's hearing but she insisted on being there. Warrant number 2018-8211-000739 where the offense is attempted murder and the victim is Ari Davis. Florence County investigator Aria Davis sat quietly as Judge Mia Weaver read off the charges against Fred Hopkins, the man accused of shooting her and six other officers. Despite feeling nervous about facing Hopkins, her godmother said it's something Davis felt compelled to do. She was a little apprehensive, but she insisted she really wanted to be here. For every part of it that she can participate, she wants to participate. Cheryl Graham says the past month has been very emotional for investigator Davis from being attacked and hospitalized to losing a partner and a friend. She knows that Farrell would want her to go forward and she would want her to do well. And as a matter of fact, she said that she knows that Farrell is like saying that she's okay and Aria, you go forward and we want you to do well. She wants her to do well. Graham says today was difficult for the whole family, but they're hopeful justice will prevail for Investigator Turner and Sergeant Terrence Carraway. But before, those officers were known in Florence City and in Florence County. So actually, they gave their lives and it expanded their territory. They're, they're known better across the state, across the country, and maybe even further. So what was supposed to end their life actually expanded their lives. And all but one of the wounded officers are back home. Florence police say Officer Scott Williamson remains hospitalized in Atlanta. Reporting in Florence County, Aaron Brown for News 13.